Hey guys, welcome back. I am Warren the Werewolf, and this is Everything's my... Everything's for sale, my friend. I you know. visit no other shops today. And <laughs> this is my Wolf Down Skyrim series. We're going to be showing you a little tiny mod that made its reappearance on the Nexus. Just... Please do look around. I'm sure I have something you'll want. Shut up. That made its reappearance here back under the Nexus. It's called Ultimate Assortment. The original mod author called Favorite Soul. I assure you, I'm prepared to make any deal. Shut up before I X you in the face. Well. Okay. I have the original mod. Favorite by Favorite Soul. And I guess he gave permission... I can tell you're a discriminating customer. Perhaps you're a wealthy one, too, hmm? I guess he gave permission to use this mod... ...again? Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything! If I had a sister, I'd sell her in a second! I know, I know. Maybe if I can stick you in this menu, you shut the hell up. <laughs> so I can show off this damn mod! <laughs> It's a tiny weapons and uh, assorted accessories mod with a couple little shields here and there. And I'm going to give you the rundown of it. Take a look. Now this mod author, I believe, uh, Favorite Soul, the, the mod creator, was the one who originally created this, uh, this mod. And the only way to acquire these items is to come to Belithor's shop here. Uh, they do end up respawning if you end up buying out the the items. So let's see. Uh, the Daedra Slayer. A nice little knife that kind of reminds me of the supernatural knife. Uh, you know that TV show that's able to kill demons? I think that's where he got the idea. Uh, short sword of backstabbing plus three now I don't know what reference this is from maybe from uh, Dungeons and Dragons but it is a very cool looking little short sword uh, great for female assassin characters I would have to say iron hearts might which is something that I would use to replicate maybe uh, Mjolnir Thor's hammer which I have actually thought about. And then the Giving Star, which is a care, uh, a nice little mace that I actually have an enchanted subscriber item for uh, on one of my followers. The Blackwater Blade. Uh, this is great for a pirate character. I have this blade enchanted f as a subscriber item for Serana. The Eldurin. A nice cool little glowing sword. A Nameless Light. This too is an enchanted subscriber item of mine. I really, I really do like this type of um, uh, mod. This, this mod itself. Let's see, the Sword of Judgment. I don't think I've used this one yet as a subscriber item. The Sword of Truth, uh, I may have used this one. And if not, I did at one time. Okay, those are for the weapons. We got Arwen's Evening Star, which of course is from Lord of the Rings. And I believe I have this one on my streaming character or my mod review character normally, uh, Zelina, the Night Elf from World of Warcraft, from one of my days I played World of Warcraft. Then we got the Hero's Insignia. I believe this is in reference of something, but I can't recall. The Magicite Locket. And Nature's Force. Very cool looking necklace. The Pendant of Negativity. I am using this as a subscriber enchanted item for my 
a mage follower, I believe. Laurel of the Bella's Favor, which is a nice little flora headpiece. The Bell Shield, which is actually a bracelet. I guess it could be technically used as a shield, maybe? Uh, it's qualified as a hand accessory, but I'm not sure. Okay, what else we got down here? Uh, we got a couple of rings. We got the Gora Gorgon ring. Just in case if you want to enchant some special little rings itself instead of the crappy ones that are in the vanilla uh, vanilla game itself. Naria, which is another one. Nenya. This is a cool looking ring. Ring of Fire Might. Just in case if you're a fire mage, you might want to use this baby. Ring of Frost Might. Frost Mage, use this. Uh, that's basic, basic. Uh, this one's in uh, from the mod itself, too. Still Eye of the Dragon. Probably good for a necromancer run. Uh, Velia. Very cool little design on it. And then we got ourselves a couple of shields. Very cool looking shield. It also has like little battle scars as you can see. Already put on it. Steel Clash, another another shield, a little bit darker. This one is generally my favorite because this looks like a Viking, uh, an actual Viking shield with a little bit added touch to it. And these wings, the angel wings, are back accessories. They are actually wings. I don't think they have any animations to it like some mods that you may or may not have seen on the Nexus. And then we got a nice assortment of earrings too. Really, really good looking earrings. Especially if you're playing a female character. Yeah. Feather Forsworn earrings. Gold Lotus Earrings. A luminous Opal. Lustrous Peach Earrings. Gotta say, the, they are well done. Very well done. I believe I'm using some of these for my stream character as well. I'm using a different earring set for my main character right here. That's not part of an assortment, uh, the uh, mod itself. Well, there you go. Nice little tiny video for you. To show off Ultimate Assortment Mod, which is one of the mods that I get frequently asked questions about, like what... Remember, it's... I'll give you the best deals or die trying. Yeah, yeah, okay, I'm done with you. Yeah, I get very... I very much get questions about what type of mods I use for my character design. And I also have a video link of the character mods that I use in the description below. 
by the best blacksmith in Skyrim. So you can give that video a look-see as well, just in case if you want to know every Those single mod that I use day for day my day character. Aren't they? I always set some aside for myself when the traders bring them up in the south. So there you have it. Ultimate Assortment, originally done by Favorite Soul and uploaded by somebody new, which I will end up having linked in the description below. So give it a look-see. You guys stay furry. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.